Dear viewers, welcome to the YouTube channel H2O Chemistry. So our channel mainly provides the video on the concepts of chemistry and uh, today we are here to learn about the concept is nothing but how to calculate the mass of a given substance if you are provided with number of particles. Before we enter into this video, it will be very helpful if you watch the video about mole concept and uh, the concepts like how to derive this formula we call number of moles. So all these things if you watch it clearly, it will be very very beneficial to learn this sum. Now let us go to the uh, sum directly. Now 5 into 10 to the power of 23 molecules of glucose which is given in the page number 100 example number 4 it is formula what is the formula for calculating number of moles it's very simple idea my dear children the number of moles if the particles number of molecules is given or number of atoms or number of ions whatever it may be if it's given the number of molecules is equal to given number of particles divided by Avogadro number so this will give you the number of moles number of moles and then how to calculate the mass of a substance from number of moles it's a again quite simple idea the mass of glucose is equal to number of moles of molecules the number of mol moles of glucose into gram molecular mass of glucose right so these formulas we have derived already in our previous video uh, please kindly watch this now i'm going to substitute this formula into this because the number of moles of glucose right we can calculate by this formula given number of particles to be Avogadro number so I am going to substitute this term instead of this number of moles so what we will get the the answer will be mass of glucose is equal to so instead of this I am going to substitute this given number of particles divided by Avogadro's number into gram molecular mass right so this formula will will give me the cal will give me the idea to calculate the mass of glucose all combined together so we can do by either two steps or else we can do in a single step so i'm going with the first concept of single step now i want to calculate the gram molecular mass first because i don't know from this sum so i'm going to calculate the gram molecular mass so let us calculate gram molecular mass gram molecular mass of glucose now what is the formula for glucose c6 yes you're right c6 h12 o6 very good now we will calculate the gram molecular mass so i'm going to write a short form gmm of c6 h12 o6 is equal to okay how many carbon atom we have six so six into the atomic mass of carbon is we know that 12 so 12 plus how many hydrogen atom we have 12 so 12 into atomic mass of hydrogen is 1 plus how many oxygen atom we have here 6 6 into the atomic mass of oxygen is 16 so if we calculate that you will get the gram molecular mass 6 into 12 right 6 into 12 12 fives are 60 6 twelves are 72 plus 12 into 1 12 plus similarly 6 16 fives are 80 
so the answer is 96 am i right no now we're going to calculate 6 plus 2 8 8 plus 2 10 balance 1 1 plus 9 10 10 plus 1 11 11 plus 7 18 so 180 gram is the therefore gram molecular mass of glucose is equal to 180 grams so now this part we have completed now let us go to the calculation directly so now we go to the sum now so mass of glucose is equal to given number of particles so how many number of particles given 5 into 10 to the power of 23 divided by Avogadro number nothing but 6.023 in 10 to the power of 23 right into the gram molecular mass that we have calculated here as a 180 right 180 grams so 180 grams now so the terms which are cancelled we are going to we are going to cancel now we have cancelled it and then if it possible we can multiply this and we can do the sum so let us uh, multiply that and then we will continue the sum so 5 into 18 so we will do that 18 into 5 5 8 fives are 40 balance 4 1 into 5 5 plus 4 9 so 900 is divided by 6.023 that's all and the uh, unit is grams now so we want to calculate this uh, sum so we will use a uh, until 900 divided by 6023 right so if you want it we can simplify it further by multiplying it that also we will continue so we have a three digits after the dot so 900 divided by 6.023 into 1000 divided by 1000 so if you multiply this so we will get 900 triple zero divided by six zero two three so this we're going to divide by this number so another three dots and then first we will take this so we have only one right one time so what is the one time of six zero two three one time of six zero two three is six zero two three balance so we'll take the balance seven and then here we have a 10 year, we have a 9 year, we have a 9 year, we have a 8 year. So 9 to 7 and then 9 and then 8 minus 6 to here. So this is an answer. So if you take down this 29,770, this is another um, value we have got. So how many 6 are there in 29? six fours are 24 so there is at four times so we will calculate six zero two three into four so 12 balance one uh, eight zero 24 there's an answer so 24 right now so what is the next value eight here we have uh, six so six 16 so 7 here we have a 6 6 and then 5 again if you take this 0 here 56 just calculate so it is 10 times 600 so it will be 9 times it will be there so 6 into oh, 1060 so we have 56 so approximately 9 times we have so 5 6 0 2 3 into 9 so 9 twos are 27 balance 2 9 twos are 18 balance 2 2 and 5 nines are 45 sorry uh, 6 fives are 56 so the answer is 
54 sorry 54 so the answer is 54207 so 562 56780 now what you have calculated is 54207 so if you minus that what we get is 3 and then 7 and then um, 5 and then 2 0 now there is no 0 on the top so what we do is uh, we will add a dot and then add a 0 in 25 the in 25 how many 6 are there 4 times so the answer definitely will be 4 times so we will do that here 6023 into 4 so that we have already calculated in the second step 24 0 9 2 so it is 8 and then uh, we have a 2 here 2 12 12 means 3 here and then 6 here 6 and then 1 year so 4 times it is so again if you add 0 16 in 16 how many we have approximately 2 times so that's how we will we'll complete so the answer will be 149.42 grams so therefore 5 into 10 to the power of 23 molecules so glucose so contains 142 grams or 1.149.42 grams so glucose consists of 5 into 10 to the power of 23 molecules I hope this video will be very helpful in learning this sum thank you so much my dear children subscribe for more videos the chemistry concepts made easy easy here Click the bell button to get the notifications immediately. Like the video and share it to your friends. Thank you my dear children. We will see the other sums in the next video. Thank you.